On December 15th of 2015, CompTIA introduced the 900 series of their A-plus certification exam. In this video, I'm going to take you through what has changed and the things that might still be the same in this new 900 series. As with the older 800 series exams, the 900 series requires two separate exams to be able to earn your certification. You'll need to pass the 22901 and the 22902. One thing that's very different in the structure of these new 900 series exams is that they are much more self-contained than the 800 series exams were. For example, in the 901, you still need to know hardware and networking and mobile devices, but notice that troubleshooting has been moved from the 902 exam and just the hardware and network troubleshooting and mobile device troubleshooting is now part of this 901 exam. So instead of learning information on the 901 that you would then have to troubleshoot on the 902, Two, the 901 is a completely self-contained exam. You can simply study the information you need to know, pass this exam, and then study a completely different group of information for the 902. The 902 is going to include the Windows operating systems. There's some new operating systems included on the 902, which we'll talk about in a moment. The 902 includes security, software troubleshooting, and operational procedures as well. The number of questions and the passing scales are exactly the same as the 800 series. You may get up to 90 questions for either of these exams. You need to get a 675 on the 901 on a scale from 100 to 900. And on the 902, you need to get a 700 on the same scale from 100 to 900. If you're someone who's familiar with the 800 series exam objectives, you'll find that the 900 series exam is very similar. I would estimate about 75% of the exam objectives are identical between the two exams. But obviously, not everything has made it into the 900 series. Some older technologies, such as RAM bus RAM or CRTs and Windows XP, is no longer found on the 900 series exam objectives. Instead, you'll see new topics like Windows 8, Mac OS, Linux, and Windows Phone. But even with those minor changes between the two, you'll find that the 900 series exam still has the same flavor and style as the 800 series did. Let's first look at the 22901 exam. It's had a complete technology refresh, and a lot of the older technologies are no longer found in this exam. You also find that printers no longer has its own separate domain. Instead, it has been integrated into the hardware domain of the 901 exam. You also find that networking has changed a little bit in its focus. Instead of dealing with topics that might be best suited for the Network Plus, instead a lot of the topics on the 901 really focus on troubleshooting from the end user's perspective, where you're troubleshooting what's happening on an individual workstation. And although the 800 series exam did cover mobile devices, on the 900 series exam, there's a single section called Mobile Devices that includes our laptops, our mobile phones, and our tablets. And as I mentioned earlier, unlike the 801 exam, the 901 exam includes troubleshooting. There's an entire section on it, so you'll need to know how to troubleshoot everything you learned in this particular exam. The 22902 exam has also been updated. The Windows XP operating system is no longer part of this second exam, and instead it's been replaced with Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. But CompTIA has also included additional operating systems beyond the Windows OS. These are brand new to the CompTIA a certification, so you'll need to know a lot of detail about the Linux operating system and Mac OS. The security section on the 902 has also been updated over the 802, and it includes a lot more details about securing mobile devices. And just like the 802, the 902 includes troubleshooting. But in this case, it's only going to include the topics that were covered during the rest of the 902 exam objectives. So although technology has changed a bit since the 800 series exam was released, the 900 series exam structure is very similar to what you'd find in those older exam types. You also need to keep in mind that now that these exams are self-contained, you can really focus on a single exam, concentrate on passing that particular exam before moving on to the next one. In the past with the 800 series, some people felt that it was advantageous to take both exams at the same time. But now that the structural change has occurred, it may make more sense to really focus on each exam individually. If you're curious as to what specific details are going to be on each exam, CompTIA has already documented this for you. Make sure you go to the CompTIA website and download the latest CompTIA exam objectives for the 22901 and the 22902. And of course, you can always visit my website. I have training videos available for all of these courses, so you'll be able to not only look at the exam objectives, but also follow along as I take you through every single topic in my videos.